you know, we haven't done an Ask the Fallons in a while. This is where I grovel and beg my wife to answer questions from our fans, to ask questions about us or her or the kids or life or anything. And so this is another installment of Ask the Fallons. Uh, enjoy. Ask the Fallons, Ask the Fallons. All right, this is Ask the Fallons. Thank you so much for sending these questions in. Is your glass, are your glasses steaming? Oh my gosh, I was about to say, I have not see. mastered the Feels mask like, wearing and glasses wearing. I feel wearing. like broccoli right now. I feel like I have to pick one or the other and it's gonna be... Well, there's no one here, so we can judge. And it's gonna be the mask. Oh, it's a good rip off. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. All right. Just in case a quick I'm just gonna do like, placement. fast as I can put it on. I know, there's no one here. All right, so far so good. Yeah, all right. Um, we have a bunch of questions, great ones, from people watching the show. And We're back! Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever think you'd be back doing it again? <laughs> we didn't ever officially, you never sort of told me I was out. No. I just sort of no, there took is no advantage. Out. You really did. You didn't bring it up. <laughs> of you not bringing it up. <laughs> you know what, <laughs> someone <it> up. <laughs> asked a question I thought was, was very you, but it's like, if you had two hours to, um, two hours yeah. to craft, to alone time, just to yourself, what would you do? What would you make? What would you be into right now? Oh, that just is so foreign to me right this second. Um, two hours to myself to just craft. Um, I wouldn't go buy any. Like, I would have to always, it's sort of what do I have and what inspires me. So I think the, I would... The twigs are the last one. Those, that was probably what I was doing when I had a little bit of little time in between things was yarn bombing twigs and <laughs> branches <laughs> yes. yarn bombing we is have so many covering a branch with yarn yes just picking different like yarns and stuff like that but almost the key is you kind of have to have like recycled it or found it or found your mom's old bin of it or something like that does that work howard stern would kill me but he was in the car what do you mean he gets so mad at people not wearing masks when they're walking but yeah but he's yeah, he was in a car, so yeah, yeah, yeah. What if it was Howard in that car? <laughs> <laughs> Does he drive a truck? <laughs> he definitely drives a car. Oh, he, 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 drives, he drives a silver truck. Yes. Uh, no, if yes, anyone so comes I by, would, any uh, humans. Yeah, okay, humans, fine, all right. Um, I used to paint belts. I used to have strips of leather and make belts and paint them. And then random furniture. Howard! <laughs> like stools. <laughs> that was Howard's truck. Stool, anything wooden, I would just strip it and and paint little micro. Always, a lot of times, people who've known me for a long time will probably unearth some Ooh. weird thing in their garage. <laughs> right, here's one. Okay, you guys are so cute. What's your secret for keeping your marriage strong? Oh, Aww. that's very nice. She's so cute. Nice. He's cute. Um, what is your what's your advice for keeping marriage strong? I mean, I think one of the essentials is, um, which is hard because timing is critical, but sometimes your timing is I'm ready to get going and you don't really meet the right person. But I do think meeting the right person who you, um, it's not even like, it's so, it, it's almost, my answer is almost unromantic, but I don't mean it to be unromantic, but all of those, like crazy googly notes and exciting and the bad boy and all that kind of stuff it does not pay off in the long term and i know you won't trust me because i didn't trust anyone who told me that either but it's very true and um so you really want to pick someone who um you don't have to like every single thing the same but you kind of have to have the same um, values in a way. I guess values would be the best word, but you have to sort of, what makes you both laugh, you know, would be a good, is fun because then you laugh together at the same stuff. One of you is not like ugh, eye rolling and the other one's like, you know, falling down laughing. Yeah. So I think like the things that matter a lot to you, I wouldn't compromise a lot on someone who is the opposite of that because it's just a struggle after a while. Um, and dating is so cute and everyone's like, I'll do anything. Oh my God, I love mayonnaise. You know, 
I'm sure you would have eaten mayonnaise for me. Look at his face. Let's just pretend he would have. But now it can't even be in the house. So it's, totally be in the house. No, nobody in our home eats mayonnaise. But like, it was just, missing. It's just an example of when Not you're dating, problem. you'll do anything for anyone for that person, and then as you really are together and come together, just those sort of. Uh, you hopefully get more real and within more real you of course don't want mayonnaise anywhere near you and so those truths come out and they can really pull the rug out from under people depending on what they are so it's like when people start looking like each other oh um, do you think we're gonna start looking uh, like each other i hope so me too you're cute um so that i think is a big one honesty. don't just honesty but also just really have your list of uh, things that really you can't tolerate or must tolerate and make sure they just line up enough that they're not like opposing the other person. And I think keep your sense of humor and I think keep some independence. You just, neither of you should be so reliant on the other. Just walk away. Oh my God. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and now for Jimmy. <laughs> No, well, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we have to go to commercial.